A short while ago, I did a video that was showcasing one of the great new features that we have in Tonex, in the current public version that is available, and that is the use of custom DIs. So a big complaint is that the DIs for the audio demos within Tonex software are very hot, a lot hotter than it's actually even possible to run our own audio interface at a level that could match that. So the idea of bringing on custom DIs so that we could record our own files with our own guitars at the levels we're used to working at is a very welcome addition to Tonex software. So what I did in that last video is offer a free download from my website and the link will be below to that, which was basically offering a variety of custom DIs with different guitars at different levels corresponding to what our Tonex pedal would run at. And this way we could audition within Tonex software and know precisely what a specific global input trim on our pedal would sound like with the tone model we were listening to at those settings with the custom DIs that I was using. But the problem with that is those are still my guitars, still me playing. What if you wanted to make your own custom DIs, load those into Tonex software so you could audition utilizing samples of your own guitars at the levels you're used to working with? Well, today, utilizing Tonex pedal, I'm going to show you exactly how you can create your own custom DIs that will help you to be able to fine tune your Tonex presets without having to play and rather listening to your own guitars played back. It's very simple to do. I'm going to show you how to do that today and I hope that you find this helpful. All right. So here we are over a Tonex pedal and also in Cubase, which is going to be my DAW of choice here. So let's just get things set up the way you're going to have to, and then we'll talk about a few important details. First things first, you're going to have to go into global settings. So we go over to global settings and you're going to have to locate the operation mode. Now we aren't going to be able to leave this on live. We're going to have to switch this to interface mode. So the Tonex pedal is now acting as an audio interface. So that's great. We're also going to have to make one other setting, which is going to be the USB out. We're going to want it set on dual, but for now I'm just going to leave it on stereo because I want to illustrate something very important about the use of Tonex pedal. So let's just leave it there for now. I'm going to back all the way out of that. Since I'm in interface mode, I want to disable or disengage the current presets so that we get the flashing light. Now we're all set to go into our DAW. Now what I'm going to do first and foremost is come to my DAW and I'm going to have to come in here and set up Tonex pedal as the audio interface. So this is going to vary depending on the DAW you're using for Cubase. I'm going to go up to my studio tab, studio setup, and I'm going to choose Tonex as my audio interface, which I have already done, but you can sort of see how I'm doing this again. Now, Tonex only runs at 44.1 kilohertz, as that is the only supported sample rate that Tonex pedal runs on as an interface, and the custom DIs will have to be loaded in. Now, there is another thing in the new software update, the upcoming software, where it says that the file has to be 64-bit. I have had people tell me they have used 24-bit and it works, so we're going to keep it at 24-bit today and just sort of see what happens, see if it still works. I have a feeling it is going to work just fine. So what we're going to do next is add a couple tracks to our DAW. Now I have the choice of audio input. So I can choose one stereo input or I could choose left and right. This is going to be very, very important when we get to creating our own custom DIs. But for now, I'm just going to choose a stereo track. And I want to add this to show you something. Since I'm not set on USB dual mode, you're going to see here, and I'll just engage this so we can hear what's going on. So I'm I'm playing my rather low output, relatively low output, Vigier Expert Strat style guitar with single coil pickups in it. So what you'll notice is that basically because I have the preset on the pedal disengaged, I could engage that. and have Tonex pedal process, but we're not trying to do this right now. I wanna show you something else here that's interesting. If I do engage that and then go into my global input trim, right down here, and... raise or lower that, we know that that affects the sound of the tone model. So let's just bring this back up to that default 8.5. Now, when I disengage this though, you'll see on the track, we're just getting the clean, dry guitar as we would expect. The global input trim does nothing in this current state. And I'll show you this right now. If we come into our trim, lower this all the way down to minus 15, we'll just do something really extreme. You'll notice that I'm getting the exact same signal on my meters as if I was on plus 15 over here. 
There's good reason for this. That's because the global input trim in Tonex pedal adjusts our input trim after the analog to digital converters. So we're not really going to maximize signal to noise ratio or affect whether we're clipping or not clipping our converters because the global input trim comes after it. And that's why the gain control basically does exactly the same thing. So I just wanted to point that out, but now we're going to go and create our custom DI utilizing the dual function on Tonex pedal. So we need to come back into our global settings and we're going to go down and find the USB out mode. And what we're going to do is set that to dual. And we can back out of that now. So we're all set with that. We still want our preset disengaged. So what that means now is I'm gonna get rid of this track here and I'm gonna add a track just a mono track because our custom DIs are going to have to be mono files. So we're gonna do a mono track and we're going to choose Tonex right. Now the reason is when Tonex pedal is set to USB dual mode, the Tonex left is going to be the process sound. So if I basically engage the preset, I'm going to have whatever preset is loaded on the pedal being recorded on that track. We're not interested in that. We want the dry as a bone, custom DI of our guitar. So we're gonna choose Tonex right. Now that is going to basically allow me to have the dry as a bone signal of my guitar. Now you'll notice something here. With this low output guitar, I'm already clipping this. Now there's good reason because the global input trim does affect this output because this is actually tapping in after the converters. So we will come in here to global, we'll come to our trim in, and again, here's this setting which, you know, basically says okay at times, but there's just far too many people that are suggesting just leaving this setting and actually by going with the default 8.5, we basically ruin this feature of utilizing the US be dual and getting a nice clean DI. So let's do this. Let's just go back to zero. Now that I'm there at zero, you can see that I'm getting a nice bit more headroom here and I'm not going to be concerned about clipping anything. Now, what I'm getting at here is I'm not telling you where to set this. This is going to be up to you because we want to basically have a custom DI that's going to work with where we normally use Tonex pedal. So let's say that you normally run Tonex pedal at plus two on the global input trim. We would set that and that is going to be reflected in this dry DI out. Now you're going to notice... I get a little more output. Excuse my hand here. I'm going to just bring this down to be really extreme with it. You'll notice now that I've lowered that, it affects this dry DI. So let's say that we like to use our Tonex pedal at plus two and we kind of just always leave it there. Once you set this and record this track right here, we are going to be getting the perfect level that's going to equate to having Tonex pedal run at plus two. When we load that file into Tonex software and use it as an audio demo, we can rest assured that what we're hearing is going to be what those settings on that tone model will sound like when we load it on Tonex pedal at plus two. So I could just come in here and I could decide to set a click track if I wanted. And I could decide that that is going to be my little DI. So you see that I've actually recorded this at the perfect level that will equate to running our Tonex pedal at plus two. Now, if I was to do this again, running this up at plus 8.5, which is the default setting, this is where we end up with some problems potentially. <laughs> So you can see clearly what the issue is, is I'm clipping now, and this is with a relatively low output Strat style guitar. So wherever you run this, I would just warn that if you're pushing this too close to the limit, and even at the default setting of the pedal, it could run into issues. But anyways, we were talking about, excuse my hand again, this plus two setting, which I'm just using as an example. If that's where you set your pedal, if it's not, then set it wherever you do, and your resulting custom DI right here will reflect things perfectly. So let's take this now. I'm going to come in here and set my locators to where I want to export this. 
Let's go maybe right there. Whatever you feel the need to. Now I'm going to take this. I am going to say that this is Tonex pedal plus 2.0. Now I am going to make sure that my sample rate on my export is 44.1 kilohertz. We're going to test out this 24 bit, but we also need to make this mono as well. So let's just export this. And now we should have a file that we can load into Tonex software. So now coming over to Tonex software, let's go up to our little top right hamburger button. We make sure that Tonex pedal is actually set as our audio interface now for this. And we can come down here to our demo section. We go custom DI and it says load custom DI. Now it tells me here, and keep in mind, I'm using the new beta version of the software. So this might be slightly different if you're using the current public version, but in the future, everybody is going to have this version anyways. So it says that we want to copy our DI audio file into the custom DI folder. Ensure the audio files in wave format with a sample rate of 44.1 kilohertz. We've done that. And 16 bit mono. We've done 24 bit. Let's see if it works. So we'll open our folder. And we see here the custom DI folder is empty. I'm gonna go locate my mix down folder from Cubase where I've exported my custom DI. I'm gonna take this, you could drag and drop it in there. I'm just going to copy it and paste it over to here. Now it shows up in the custom. So we can load up our Tonex pedal plus two, which seems to work very nicely. even though we did it in 24 bit. Now let's go back and try another one at a different setting. So I could come back in here, head back over to Tonex pedal, go to my input trim, and maybe set this down to minus four and a half. Now you might ask why I'd choose that. Well, Tonex pedal set at minus four and a half would be roughly equivalent or very, very close to running a universal audio Apollo twin interface at its minimum gain setting. So let's go in here and we'll back out of that and we'll try recording a new demo utilizing that level. You will see just by the waveform that we had a much larger waveform because we've basically cut this back by about six and a half dB. Now again, we can come in here, select where we want to import and export this. Once we set our locators, make sure that our input monitor button is off and come in here and label this one as minus 4.5. We have all the settings that worked before, mono 44.1 kilohertz, 24 bit. We can export this file and then we can come back over to Tonex Come over to our load custom DI, open that folder up, find our mix down folder and we can copy our minus 4.5 into here. And then when we head back over to Tonex pedal, we now have the minus 4.5 version and the plus two version, we can compare them. <laughs> We can hear the plus two version is hitting the front of that tone model with much more input gain, saturating it more. So basically if we took this Muddy Tweed IK tone model with these settings, save that as a preset, transfer that to Tonex pedal, it's going to sound like this with global input trim at minus 4.5. And it's gonna sound like this at plus two. And we could do as many of these as we want for different guitars that we own, different performances we have, and different levels that we like to work at. All right, so there you have it. What did you guys think? I hope that was useful for some folks. So again, if you're used to running your pedal at plus two on your global input trim, then you can simply create your own custom DI at that level with your guitars, whatever it is you want to play, export that from your DAW, load it into Tonex software, and it's always there for you. And you can do endless versions of these with different guitars different levels, whatever you want for your workflow. So I really hope that that's something that helps folks get even more out of the incredible Tonex software. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please like the video, share it with anybody you think will get some use or enjoyment out of watching and also please subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell notification to get notified when I put new content out. I'm going to leave you today with audio demo for some of my tone models. The links will be below for any of the tones that you hear on the way out and I hope you enjoy the music. Thanks again for tuning in. Ciao for now. Mm -hmm.